When I made my original VCR PC video, I still didn't know much about electronics, caps, etc. I would turn on the computer, it wouldn't boot right away, and I always had to press F1. I changed the battery, loaded BIOS defaults, no change. I googled and tried every repair with no luck. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I reinstalled the operating software, checked all the hardware, no difference. It ran, so I left it alone and I used it as a media player. I just had to press F1 each time, I turned it on. No big deal. Until finally, it stopped updating and other personality issues came up. I was reviewing the original footage after a viewer commented on the heatsink fan being upside down. There was a reason for that. After looking at the footage, I saw this instead. So I decided to open up and fix the faulty caps and see if that was going to fix things. The computer was faulty when I bought it, but I guess, well, it was only $25. Six, seven, eight. eight bad caps. onto the Newark Canada site, but I couldn't find ones that would fit, and I didn't want to buy 1,000 pieces. So I did find some on DigiKey, but well, eBay was cheaper. This is not a good computer, so I didn't want to spend a lot on capacitors. eBay had 10 caps for cheap, with the exact size requirements and specs. The caps needed to fit really, really closely together, so I needed that uh, width of the caps to be perfect, and it was at eBay. Well, time to remove the old faulty caps. Again, I had to add a little uh, solder to the old, pull it out under the heat, use the solder sucker to remove the excess and increase this whole size. Then, well, repeat it eight more times, over and over. Now everybody's gonna say, why didn't you remove the other two caps? They look fine. I repaired my Samsung TV in the same way and it's been working great for the past two years. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anyway, time to put the new caps in. First we put it in, bend out the pins, solder it in, and clip off the excess. Well, then it's time to put everything back together again and reassemble the components. Um, I did end up cutting a new hole in the top of the case uh, for a fan to provide some extra cooling. I noticed the components got pretty hot. I changed the CPU cooler uh, fan from blowing up to blowing down now into the cooler. Honestly, I haven't seen any change in the temperatures at all. It makes no difference if it was pulling up or pushing down. And this is the moment of truth. Here we go. Here we don't go. So anyway, big failure. Um, same thing, same problem. Again, check the battery, checked everything. The only good thing about this is that everything's updating properly, everything's working properly on the computer. Again, I still have to press F1. So a little bit of boo and hooray at the same time. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been pretty frustrating. If you have any answers or any idea, let me know. This seems to be a common thing with Dell.